Modern Egyptians are actually more sub-Saharan African than the ancient Egyptians? You might be shocked. Around 15,000 years ago, a population called the Natufians migrated from the Levant into Africa. They carried haplogroup E1b and looked like this. It is believed that they settled Egypt and the Horn of Africa, with their ancestry being heaviest in Egypt as it is closest African country to Levant geographically. And this population founded ancient Egypt. Natufians did already have 6 to 10 percent of African ancestry related to samples found in Mota, Ethiopia, and with E1b originally branching off from E1, which is a haplogroup that originated in Africa. This is the reason why it's called a back migration even though by that point the Natufians are almost entirely West Eurasian. The Saharan Desert then served as a natural barrier for a long time between North and South Saharan African. However, during the times of Islamic Egypt and including modern times due to the cosmopolitan nature of Muslim states and empires, the South Saharan African and East African ancestry in Egypt increased. This additional gene flow pulls modern Muslim Egyptians closer to people like Libyans as they also have significant Natufian ancestry mixed with some South Saharan African ancestry. While Christian Egyptians, due to being heavily Natufian similar to ancient Egyptians, are actually closer genetically to Yemenis.